A COVID crisis in the San Francisco Bay unfolded on the Grand Princess cruise ship nearly two years ago. It served as a warning for what the pandemic would bring. Now, after an 18-month absence, absence <laughs> cruise ships are returning to the port of San Francisco. The first ship is set to arrive next week. KPI X5's Da Lin has details on the economic impact and whether there's any safety concerns. Da? The Majestic Princess will carry more than 2,200 passengers. It'll dock here, Pier 27, Monday morning. The passengers are expected to empty the ship to shop and dine in San Francisco. That's not all. On Wednesday, two more ships are sailing in. That's great news for Mac Liebert, who owns Pier 23 Cafe, located right next to the cruise dock. Welcome. On a packed day like today, because of Fleet Week, it's hard to tell. His restaurant is actually struggling. Unlike today, he says most weekdays are pretty quiet. 40%, 50%, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're doing about half the business we used to do. With thousands of passengers arriving next week, it's a good sign for his business. Hopefully a big boost, but yeah, some kind of boost. A symbol of business and visitors returning, but it's more than a symbol. It's folks who are actually are going to be able to save businesses. For some Bay Area residents, the last cruise ship to enter the Bay last March symbolized the beginning of COVID. The Grand Princess had more than 100 COVID positive passengers and at least seven people died. It's more safe for somebody to come into San Francisco on a cruise ship because we know that they've been tested, we know that they've been vaccinated, we know that they have um, all these protocols than if somebody just drives across the bridge. The Port of San Francisco says 21 cruises are scheduled to come in this year. Next year will be a record, 127 ships. They typically get about 80 a year. It's a good news for us. I believe it's good news for everyone in San Francisco. A Chinatown will be have a lot of tourists coming in. Chinatown businesses believe passengers will hit up restaurants, gift shops, and antique stores. The San Francisco Travel Association says things won't be back to normal at least until 2025. That's because there's very little international and business travel. SF Travel reports in 2019, 63% of the visitor spending was by international travelers. In San Francisco, I'm Da Lin, KPIX. Five.